What's up guys? Welcome to another episode of Get Real Bass Fishing. Today we are actually in the fish cave right here at Get Real Bass Fishing headquarters. We're going to be talking about some of the things on my belt, some things I keep inside of my surf bag. This is going to be a quick little video because we get this question a lot and then we're going to do more videos going in depth with everything that's inside of here. So whether it's top water, swim bait, a swimming plug, a bucktail, whatever it might be, we're going to go in depth on a separate video for each separate bait and why we fish it, where we fish it, and when we fish it. But this is going to be what's on my belt because one of the most frequent questions that I get, I get is what belt is that? Where can I get it? So let's talk about it and let's talk about what I got on it. Let's go. So first off, this is a Z-Belt. Uh, this is probably the best thing that you're gonna find for surf fishing as far as belts. Uh, you can you could literally ask anyone that you see with these belts. It's gonna help with your back. It's gonna help keep everything on your waist. It's gonna feel good. It's not one of those little tiny ones that come with your waders that just turn into a really cinched down tight knot and just like cuts off circulation in, in your legs. Um, but yeah, this is gonna be really good. It's got a lock for your belt, so that when you put it in and take it through, it's not gonna slide out. The Velcro is insane. It's it's hardcore Velcro made out of good neoprene, and it's got an external little belt on side of here. That way you can clip on, like I have here, my pliers. You can clip on your bags. Uh, you can clip on your knife, uh, something to hold your boga. So whatever, whatever you want, this belt can really do. And there's two types of it. You got the one with the wider, ba wider back right here. And then you have one that is just a, a straight one that's not as wide. So I'll link where you can get this belt down below because this is going to be the best purchase you make, especially you older folk or you a uh, little bit larger folk. Uh, this is going to be really, really good for your back and uh, it helps support everything. So that's the belt. On my belt currently, I have my pliers. This is a Turtle Cove plier holder. Uh, it's uh, probably the most durable thing you're gonna find for your pliers instead of those random sewn up ones that you get when you purchase them, whether it's on Amazon or Walmart, Bass Pro, whatever. This is hardcore and and your pliers actually go in there and they lock in there because of how well built this thing is. It's got holes on it so you can put different things on here such as these carabiners. Mine are attached by the plastic one that came with it. Uh, Turtle Cove actually makes um, attachments for their plier holders to your pliers but this one I, I put on here goes a really long distance and I keep my pliers in my back so that they don't keep riding up when I'm or riding in front when I'm taking casts and stuff so I have this really long stretchy one uh, they're really, really dirt cheap, and they come with most of these pliers you get on Amazon or Walmart. So I just got it uh, and stick it in here. Um, my pliers, these are Dr. Meter pliers. I've been using these for years, the black version, and they have a cutter on them and a split ring um, tooth. That way you can change, change out split rings, and they're pretty durable. And as you can tell, I got to wash this one. I, I guess I didn't wash my belt when I got back from the surf. But, and with that being said, it's not rusty. All right, so we're gonna go from there. So Turtle Cove, I'll link them below. You can follow them on social media and uh, most of their products, if not all of them are sold at tackle shops. I don't think they sell online. So most of the tackle shops here on Long Island and around here, Jersey and, and Connecticut, I'm sure have Turtle Cove products from what I've been told. Next is a way to either grip fish or weigh fish or both. So this is a Rapala version of the Boga. Um, this is, I wouldn't, yeah, yeah, I guess you could say it's a cheaper version, a less expensive version. You can find these anywhere, Dick's, Bass Pro, um, wherever you, you go, Amazon. But basically what this is, is it grips the fish right here through the mouth and then however heavy it is, that's where the pounds will show. So if it's two, four, six, eight, ten, 10, I believe this goes up to 40. So I don't really like weighing fish over 20 pounds. <laughs> it's just, I don't like doing it. Some people will say it's fine, some people won't. And if it's big, I'll measure it, I'll get the girth. 
like you'll see in the, in the videos coming up or if I uploaded it already, you'll see I measure the girth and the length and just go from that. Makes the fish bigger. But anyway, a grip or a scale right there, that's what I have on me. Again, it's attached by one of them stretchy boys right there. When fishing rocks or, or the surf, that's insane. You want to have a knife on you just in case something goes wrong. Grab, go down to your belt, grab your knife, cut your waders off because that is where uh, bad things happen. When your waders fill up with water and you can't get off, then you're <laughs> it's not good for you. So always have a knife on you. This is on Amazon. I'll link this one below too. Uh, it's a Dragon Squama. I don't know. It's just some brand I got off of Amazon and it's pretty sharp and it clips in locks in so we're good there hard plastic so we have our knife on us then we go over to our main bag this is a surf right bag it's pretty doggone heavy this is my go-to bag because the larger versions they don't have these straps that go all the way to the front which secure it onto my belt so I like to stick with the little one the larger one I need the strap around my chest and when I load that up it's just pulling down on my neck. It's not good, it feels horrible. And I cast righty, I keep my belt on my left. So the strap's going up on my right shoulder. So I'm constantly getting pulled down by the weight. I don't like that at all. So I try to stick with the smaller one. If I need to bring extra stuff, I carry a backpack, leave it on the beach or the rocks. That way I am just not completely crippled by the end of the day. So you can find surf right bags basically anywhere, any local taco shop. I think Dick's might have them. But we have a bunch of different things in here for different situations, different scenarios. I like to switch out if I'm doing something different. Like if I'm going at night, I like to put my, my yellows and black and purples inside of there. And then I'll switch out everything I use in the day. And then just keep switching. This one, um, it looks like I'm actually set up for, for night fishing. But that's probably because I was fishing early morning. So I brought all my purples. And with my backpack, I had my extra bright colors or uh, bunker color, stuff like that. So I like to have some swimming plugs. These are mag darters right here. You guys have seen those in the videos past. This is a Joe bags. So basically just things that can swim down mid surface or can get down into the little deeper areas. So as you can tell, this one's pretty butchered. This is a six inch mag darter, just another swimming plug, five inch mag darter, a swimming plug. And then if I need to get down deep, I have these things. <laughs> these are diamond jigs. People will freak out on you. Oh, you throw diamond jigs off the beach? Yeah, I mean, you guys have seen my videos. We've caught plenty of bass on them during the summer, during the fall. So just a little thing to get a little bit further out, 827, 17, just to get out a little bit deeper. I got a couple colors, whites and greens. As far as that, we go with some more tins. You can cast them out, reel them up real quick, or you can drop them down to the bottom, work them like a bucktail. Single hook with some tail on it. Another diamond jig, another diamond jig. I have a lot of duplicates inside of my bag because I take my friends fishing, my brother fishing. So I gotta make sure I have a lot of stuff just in case they don't know what they're doing and cast off or loose stuff in the rocks. It is what it is. Carry a little bit more for a little bit more fun. So I have a top water popper as well. This is a tsunami talking popper. So we're, like I said, we have basically everywhere in the water column I like to carry. I like to carry something on the bottom, the middle, and the top. So I can work things differently for different situations if there's fish in different areas of the water column. So I got top water swimming plugs, a little th things to go a little bit deeper. And of course I have bucktails in here uh, and an SP minnow. So I got an SP in here. I load my bags up. So we got the spikes bucktail. This is actually how I caught my big fish. My big bass was a little curly tail grub, little red fork tail. So that's what I did on the spikes bucktail. That's actually the exact it's up there. Is that on the, yeah, that's my bucktail that I caught the big bass on and it's the exact setup as this one. Just do a little bit different, you know, put a curly tail on there, put some fat tail, uh, fat cow on there. So we got a bunch of bucktail. This one's actually butchered. I wanted to put this one up here. So now, now we're good, retired. And I'll have some swim baits on here. Just little tiny diesel minnows. The Z-mans are awesome because they stretch really, 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 really well. 
and long and they don't break as easy. So we got some swim baits in here. Try to avoid throwing those if there's um, you know, some bluefish. And then I got a little spikes, bucktails, just to get different different uh, weights. So this one's a quarter ounce that I make. This one's a one and a half ounce that I make and he's seeing better days. And then it looks like I have some more Joe bags in here. So basically what I'm trying to say is when you're going fishing, make sure you have something for every depth of the water column. Top water, middle of the water column, and bottom sand rocks, whatever. Bucktails, uh, diamond jigs, something that can dive deeper and hit those rocks like a darter. Uh, in my backpack I have other things that I carry. Like I said, I take a lot of people fishing. So I want to be able to have something for them, for me. Duplicates in case something works, something's not working. So I, in there I have my metal lips because those tend to be a little bit bigger and I can't fit as much inside of my bag. One thing to remember, if you're going with the Z-Mans, they, uh, they melt <laughs> and disintegrate. So try not to keep anything around them. Anyway guys, I hope you guys enjoyed that video, learned a little something, uh, got something new out of this. That way you can go out and get, let's say, a Rapala uh, weighing or grip or a knife or pliers, plier holder, get yourself a Z-Belt, um, get yourself a small bag. I see a lot of guys carrying big bags with not a lot of stuff and sometimes bigger is not better, especially walking with waders two miles, three miles on the beach in the sand and the heat. So, you, you might not want to go with the big bag. You can see, you see how much I can fit inside of this small one. There, I can fit a lot more if I wanted to. Um, but there you go. I hope you guys learned something. If you did, comment below because it would be really cool to know if one of my tips helped you out. Give this video a like and share it with your friends. Uh, we're always trying to learn something new. I'm sure you and your friends are doing the same thing. So share this video with your friends. One, it'll help them. Two, it'll help push our channel and get our, our channel out to more people so we can help more people fish. If you are not subscribed, go below, hit that red subscribe button. Guys, if you are and if you just hit that red subscribe button, hit that notification bell for all notifications so that YouTube doesn't skip you out on anything because they tend to do that with the fishing community. So just make sure you do that. So with that being said, thank you guys for watching. Stay real, smooch and release, and have some fun on the water. I'll see you next time.